Hi, my name is Manuel Ovo and you're welcome to this exciting video. I want to show you guys how to solve this problem of finding the next trending topic. Now, let us fix this pain point of how to find the next trending topic to make content on. Few tools we're going to be using for today. The first is YouTube. So if I open YouTube first, I'm just going to be typing this so you guys will see real time. I'm not doing any form of editing, no fancy editing. Here is YouTube. The second tool we're using is Chat Sonic. I'll just do a search for it now. So this one that says Right Sonic, the first URL, you click into it and and the whole idea is using YouTube and this AI tool. Now, there's vidIQ, but one of the reasons I don't like using vidIQ is because I don't have that money, $49 lying around to pay for vidIQ monthly subscription. However, um, it's one of my plans to do eventually when Overworks grows up and we're able to make budget for these tools. So let me just log in quickly to vidIQ. Okay, waiting for that to load. Let's check on Chatsonic. Okay, now Chatsonic is opened. Um, instead of pretty new, so this is AI tool. Of course, VidIQ still has AI functionalities. Okay, I'll just click on keywords. It's clickable now. So I'll click on keywords and it's going to take me to the keyword tool on VidIQ. Okay, and then over here at Chatsonic. So what Chatsonic does is it's more like an AI tool that helps you craft um, content using prompts. And most AI tools, like you would have noticed, they have integrations with LLMs out there like Chat GPT-4, Microsoft Copilot, and Google's Gemini. However, they, they are paid, basically. Okay? So here is this Chatsonic. So I'll just click on Chatsonic, which is like a new feature. It's more like a conversational AI. You give it prompts, it gives you results, blah, 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 back and forth. And hopefully you get the idea. So six days ago, these are some of the things that I've done just to check out Chatsonic. And I'm pretty new using Chatsonic. So now that YouTube is opened, working principle of YouTube, okay? But this approach is sort of different. Now, YouTube does recommendations. So... Whatever you search on this search feature, if I say fighting, for instance, sorry, I don't like fight. I just, the obvious, right? And I search for this. YouTube is going to begin to recommend videos based on fighting, based on my search. And of course, my persona, because I'm signed into my account. But what we're doing today is different. And I'll just click here and switch to incognito mode. So with incognito mode now, if I go back to YouTube, I'm not signed in. So YouTube does not... I identify whoever is logged in at this point in time because it's of course incognito mode now that we have all the tools set the next thing i want to do is just let's pick a random term so i'm doing a top let's imagine i'm doing a topic research before i know what to make now all of these videos that youtube has given to me they are random because it doesn't recognize who is signed in you don't have to sign in um let's pick a topic let's say for instance um emotions let's just do this I don't know. I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm just picking something random. Okay. You know what? Let's pick a topic area like, um, ah, uh, this is sort of hard. <laughs> uh, okay. Let's do fishing. Let's do fishing. Fishing. Perfect. So with fishing now, right? You would see 22,000 views one day ago. The essence of what we're trying to do, we're trying to leverage already existing topic trends, focus areas, right, that are getting traction. And that would guide us to the next topic we want to make because, of course, you are aware of the niche you're in and you know that you want to make videos for the niche you've selected and the topics that are trending in that niche. So there's the intersection of your niche and the trend of that topic, the effect of that topic. And we want we want to be able to pick topics that speaks directly to the pain point of the viewer because that's how you get clicks. Let me pick this one of 23 hours ago. Okay, so I'll just right click, open a new tab. I'll come here, right click, open a new tab and I'll allow them to load. Let me just let them load. 
I don't need to watch the video. I'm not watching the video. I'm not here to watch the video. I just want the YouTube algorithm to pick what I have searched based on this incognito account, right? So at the moment, this incognito is active. And so whatever I searched, I'll just cancel this. Out. Whatever I searched with this account is not recognized. I mean, it is recognized to this. You know, when you close the incognito window, everything goes out. No history. Let me click this out. Now, if I go back to YouTube, right? And I go back to home. YouTube is going to be recommending phishing videos to me. Let me recommend, let me reload the screen. You're going to see now that YouTube will begin to recommend phishing videos. Okay. Because we searched for phishing. What did I tell you guys? Now, three weeks ago, here is this. Look at this. Look at this. And if we go down, it goes on and on and on. And if I, if I reload the home page again, It'll bring new sets of recommendations within the fishing niche. Here is another one. Here is one. I think we saw this one from before. So I think I'm interested in this one. It says kayak fishing for giant flathead. So I will open this in a new tab. One year ago, I opened this in a new tab. Um, so first of all, this account is not that big because if it was a big account, you most likely have seen the verified symbol right next to it. Okay. So here is another one. Um, I'll open this one. So we now have three. Now we're doing a topic research into the fishing niche. We want to know the next topic to make a video on. So if I go ahead and open this kayak. The indicator that we're looking out for is we're checking out for the subscriber size, the channel size. Now it is 68,000 subscribers and currently this is like 39,000 views for seven days ago. So in my head, what this tells me is basically this 39,000 views will probably 80% of this 39,000 views is coming from the viewers, um, subscriber base. And then the remaining will probably be recommended videos and the likes. But what we're looking out for is the view count. Once the view count is more than the subscriber count, then it means that that topic is in trend or that niche area is in trend. And we want to find a way to craft a topic out of it. What this video is trying to solve is, I'm sorry guys. So I'm actually processing in my head. Like I said, this video is not edited. So you guys will understand my thought process. The mistake I have made in the past is I will make the video first and then go out there to be researching for topics that the video will fit. And that is wrong because you would make a video after all that energy time wasted, invested, not, not wasted, invested. And then you're going to now find a topic when we're actually supposed to find a topic first that people are actually looking for. And this is one way to find out. There are lots of tools out there. Remember, this is a free method. Okay. So for those of you who want to do this, but you don't have money to do paid key and topic research, this is a legit way to do it. Okay. You don't need to spend a dime. You just need to listen to the steps. So when the view count is more than the subscriber base of the channel, then it tells us that this topic area is in trend. And so we just want to now find an area in that niche to focus on and make a topic and, you know, make a video that speaks to this topic area, right? So for this one, it tells me that, um, it's primarily get coming from the subscribers of this channel, right? However, this kayak fishing, so I'm going to copy this and I'll go back to my personal window and one more tool I forgot to tell you guys is Google trend. I'm sorry. So let's open Google trends. Okay. So this is live. I'm not editing anything guys. You guys are seeing my mistakes, but you, you're also seeing my thought process. Like you, you know where my head is at. You're basically looking over my shoulder. So Google trend, as you well know, YouTube, Google, all of the other, um, and legal entities owned by the Google family, right. Are all tracked by Google trend. So if I go over to explore, it will tell me what people are looking out for. 
So there's a portion in this Google trend that, so if we look at this area that says web search, if I click on the drop down, allowing it to load completely, you're going to see image search, new search, Google shopping, YouTube search. So these are all of the areas. And of course, web search, that's Google search engine. These are all of the areas that Google trend is tracking data from to tell us where people are looking into. So as of today, these are topics trending. Okay, so if I switch to worldwide, of course, past 12 months, that's one year. I'll leave it there. Or well, let's just do past five years. All categories, okay? And then I'm switching to YouTube search. So remember the term we copied the other time is kayak fishing. So let me just take out this kayak fishing. I'll take this out and do a search for that. And let's see what the trend is like. So you can see what the trend is like for kayak fishing. Okay, so this is one. So this tells me that people are actually searching for kayak fishing. Now, let me check the other term I took out, which is um, giant flathead. Okay, and do a search for this. And let us do a comparison. Okay, so kayak fishing clearly beats giant flathead. So I don't think, so I think if you ask me now, I think kayak fishing is the main keyword here. So if I come back here and I take this kayak fishing, head over to um, VIQ and I paste kayak fishing here, check for it. Okay, so actually it is getting searched. And the competition is medium, 41.31%. Now, these are all of the relative searches close to kayak fishing. Okay? Okay? So, these are all of the related terms. Well, honestly, it's not really getting much of traction. However, however... Um, people focus in these niche areas. Like I said, I didn't know any of this. I would just open the computer and let's just do this on the go. Okay. So I know now that kayak fishing is something on the lookout for, but I don't just want to run with kayak fishing. Let me check for another. So I'll go back to the incognito mode and let's check for monster black Marlene. Okay. So I don't think I want to go near this because first of all, now you guys can do this. On discretionary grounds you can actually do this on discretionary grounds it's all up to you so first of all the channel size is 4.47 million and the total view count is 4.4 million one year ago okay i don't think i want to do this so whatever this holds i'm not dabbling into this topic area within the fishing niche okay so we're actually so a a, a full-on story is we're actually looking for topics trending within our niche and we decided that we want to focus in the fishing niche. Okay. I'm a tech person. I focus in tech area, gift cards and all of that. But for this particular video, we're doing a rough topic research and we are in the fishing niche. So we want to now find topics within the fishing niche that our viewers are actively passionate about. They, it's like a problem for them. So they want to know what the latest trends in the fishing niche is all about. And so we want to get into their minds. And the way to do that is we're now using YouTube. Because YouTube will tell us what people are actively looking at. So that way we could come up with a topic area that will still appeal to the interest of our viewers enough to get them to click into the video that we want. So this is for topic research. Okay. So I'll head over to the next video. Okay. Perfect. I think this is hot. So this video right here you can see now that this guy has 132,000 subscribers the video was released one month ago and currently it is doing 277,000 views if you ask me this video right here this topic area is i mean they would have you know used some of the you know, advertising principles come up with a catchy topic, something that speaks to the interest of the viewer. But if you ask me, I think this guy has used this topic 
is sweet, right? It's catchy. So I'm going to copy this topic now and let me head over to, we're taking out this giant flathead. Okay. I'll just take out this because I think this four day remote campaign, I think this is more like something that tells a story and you know, the human, human psychology works in such a way that the only three things that resonates with us is fear, um, anxiety, status. Okay. So these are the three things that appeal to the human brain, right? Enough to get us to want to take action. So, um, let me take this out. Let me use best fishing trip as a keyword search and see if people are actively searching for this. Okay. They are not. So let me take out best. Let me see if fishing trip would. Okay. Nice. So you can see now that fishing trip by itself has a fairly good amount of daily search. Okay. And that paired with the urgency that if you look at the, t the title of the video, if you look at the title of the video, it says best fishing trip of my life. I think this would create some sort of urgency in the head of the viewer, especially factoring in that this guy must have used a very killer, what's it called, thumbnail design that creates curiosity and interest primarily in the head of the viewer. And then a topic that tries to unlock the answer and expectation of the video enough to get the viewer to click. And you know that the way YouTube algorithm works that I've noticed is the more click through rate you get and the more average viewer retention time you have for a video, the more YouTube will recommend the video to more audience, right? Because YouTube is a business platform. So the more people are able to watch the video for longer, the more the algorithm will recommend it to more viewers because in this videos you have ads and that's one way they get to make more money so this one right here fishing trip is a keyword right because it's getting actively searched okay so i'll leave that one aside and then i'll open this up you can see that topic research takes time it's sometimes you can be lucky and get you know, trending topics really fast. Other times you may need to dig and dig and dig and dig. Um, I know this because I've actually been experimenting with this um, more often. Here again, we found another video. Um, I think it's the same person. Let's just check the right, the, the last one. JD Wilds. Yeah, the same person. So you can see now that this video, seven months ago, 644,000 views, right? For some reason, this guy is getting really, really... Um, advanced. I hope it will be like this guy someday. I won't lie. <laughs> I won't lie. Anyway, speaking about being like this guy someday, guys, um, it will mean a lot to me because um, we need you guys to grow. Please consider taking a brief of a second to subscribe, turn on bell notifications and give this video a like. And also let me know in the comment section, what are the topic research strategies that you've uncovered so far? And when you do also, the reason you're having to subscribe is the next time we put out quality um problem solving videos like this youtube is going to send you a notification a reminder that a new video is here why don't you just check the video out right i'm sorry i'm making lots of mistakes like i said this video is not edited and you can't really see my face but i hope that at the end of this video you should be able to conduct a topic research by yourself okay and make the next video that will make your channel go viral and when that happens guys please don't forget that you found that information here please come back let me know i want to hear your success story because believe it or not i am actively this is now my new way of you know making content giant fishing spots i think this is the topic the keyword i want to focus on so i'll just copy this giant fishing head over to um google trends and I'll paste it. Giant fish spots, I beg your pardon. So let's see what it will bring. Oh, flat, nothing. <laughs> okay. Let me take out giant fish. I mean, sorry, spots and see if giant fish will come up with. I think it does because if you look here, wow. So I think somewhere around 2019, there was a spike. And if we go here, um, giant fish is now something that is actively searched. So again, the niche area 
you make content for will determine how fast you're able to come up with a video because you know that these things are really seasonal unlike us in the tech um space you know you have lots of things now there is ai there are different ai tools you know ways to do something within a very particular type of ai solution you know image generative field you know all of so there are lots of opportunities you can find within the niche your channel is actually making videos for whether it's a make money online type of niche or entertainment or tech or productivity or explainer whatever i think the same strategy will tie in regardless uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments what type of um, strategy you use the most so let me just take this from five years as you can see to 12 months so within the last 12 months that's february 18th 2023 what does the search looks like okay so as of today is so between the periods of 4 to 10 of february imagine you're making contents for kayak fishing now the blue line is kayak fishing the red line is fishing trip the yellow line is giant fish so imagine you're now able to make content within this focus areas or topic areas right and people are actively searching for this on youtube don't forget right imagine now you've obeyed all of the principles of making content that will get more views and clicks and all of that your thumbnail is right you've done your topic research like we have done now and you've discovered that that okay um kayak fishing is a topic area that people are passionate about because you can see from google itself data shows us that 63 persons from the period of 4th to 10th have actively searched for this and you've made a video to solve this problem or talk about something relating to kayak fishing or fishing trip or giant fish you know now that you you are sure that with what you have done with your thumbnail your seo strategy your tags and every other thing you've done your research and you've actually invested time in researching to make sure that you make the content of value there is no reason why you're not going to be getting organic search and you know that one of the re one of the policies to getting into um youtube partnership program is you need to have organic search even if you're promoting your videos the subscribers the watch time the click-through rates you get from that promoted video does not factor into your 4,000 watch time hours or your um, 1,000 subscriber count. It has to be all organic. And this is the best way to do it, especially if you don't have a budget for expensive tools like keyword, um, like VidIQ. Now, I'm going to be fully transparent with you guys. I, I am I'm running on a free account for VidIQ. And if you go down, you're going to see now it says improve your SEO with 297 and 297 more um, related keywords right upgrade to pro i'm on a free account so i'm limited so now the final part of this video is now crafting a topic because we've done the research and you can keep digging in as much as you want but i think for the point for the time span of this video this is enough you could experiment further um to make it work for you remember what we did was we opened youtube we opened youtube we went to we opened chat sonic we opened keywords that's vidiq the keyword session of vidiq and then we opened google trends okay i'll be leaving a link to all of this in the description box of this video and then back to youtube we then opened an incognito browser which brought us to this one and this was the first place so like i explained to you guys we said that you're not signed in. You're not a sign in in the incognito window. You just want to stay signed out, right? Now, YouTube as an algorithm has the algorithm of recommending to you based on whatever you search. So now that we have opened this new incognito browser, the algorithm is listening to us for our searches. So whatever we search for, if I say dance, is now listening. The moment I hit search. The next thing it will do is the next when I refresh the page. So I just click dance now, right? I enter dance and I search. So whatever I click into, so these are all dance videos, 
dance videos or some element of dancing right you can see so i'll open this we open this in a new tab and guys we really didn't need to watch these videos we just wanted the algorithm to register that we have searched for this we have clicked into this video so i just close it out really i'll close this out and i'll close this out and then we came back to the home page go back home right and then refreshed refresh the home page now youtube is not going to recommend us from fishing and dancing okay because we've now searched for two type of terms so here is a fishing niche so if i go down i will eventually find something about dancing okay i might have to do that again oh. but anyways you got the point now is recommending fish type of videos whether it's for shorts because it's still trying to like figure out okay what is this persona because i'm not signed in so it doesn't recognize my uh, blueprint my search prints the type of things that interest me it doesn't know them so based on my search it is not recommending and from the videos it recommended we looked out these videos okay and the principle we established is you basically want to check the subscribers count for the channel if the view count is larger than the numbers of subscribers it tells us that this video has some element of trends in the topic and for this guy we we discovered that giant fish is something in trend and this is proven from google trends so if you go to google trends giant fish the one with yellow you can see from 11 to 17th giant fish has gotten 31 searches from um, youtube search now this um, youtube search feature is actually speaking to this search box so whatever you search from here it is tracking this data that's what it means so that's how we're able to come up with these three um terms kayak fishing fishing trip giant fish i hope this makes sense i hope you're following along with the steps of this video i'm sorry this video is going to go too long and like i said it's not edited um so i'll go over to chat sonic okay so now with chat sonic Chatsonic is free AI tool. You could use Cloud Day, you could use GPT-3 or 4.5. If you have a paid GPT account, even better because then it's going to be integrating with other LLMs, language, large language models to give you more accurate responses. So let me just copy kayak fishing, right? And I, I'm, I'm now I'm looking for topic ideas, right? So I'll say, hi, buddy. Please, can you help me come up with five topic ideas for a YouTube video on this topic? So I'm going to put a topic here within these quotes, kayak fishing. So fingers crossed. <laughs> Let's send and hope we get something. Uh, I don't know what this is. Chatonic results are much better when prompts are detailed. Improve prompt. Okay. Let's see. Prompt successfully improved. Okay. Feel free to edit. Okay, cool. So. So now this is me and I'm waiting for it. All right, so perfect. Now, this is Chatsonic. Remember we said in the prompt, we said, hey, buddy, please help me come up with five topic ideas for a YouTube video on the subject of kayak fishing. And it says, absolutely. Here are five compelling topic ideas for your YouTube video on kayak fishing. It says, the first one is, I think, essential gear and setup for kayak fishing. Choosing the right kayak for fishing. I don't even know what kayak is, and I, I, <laughs> I don't know. And then the third one says top tips for beginners in kayak fishing, kayak fishing adventures, exploring scenic waterways, catch and cook kayak fishing edition. So for each of these, these videos, the AI goes on to say, discuss the must have equipment such as fishing rods, tackle, safety gear, blah, blah, blah for choosing the right. I think 
top tips for beginners. I think if I was to make a video here, of, of which again, I'm not in a fishing niche, but I think I want to focus on top tips for beginners in kayak fishing. The reason is because you can never overemphasize best practices. Okay. You can never overemphasize it. So I would say, and okay, it's now giving me some basic pointers, right? So share valuable advice for beginners, including basic paddling techniques, safety measures, beginner friendly fishing spots. Now I want to say something here. Now you see this place that says padding techniques. Okay. This is entirely, I believe this is entirely a topic on its own, right? And you can even include this in your topic description. So I, I could come down and say, I'll copy this. I'll put it here. And then I'll put something like this. And then I'll come and say, if I want, So I'll put this within these brackets and I'm taking out safety measures, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, this is a topic. So just by following this approach, we have covered quality topic research. Now we know that people are actively looking for kayak fishing. It points us to where people are looking for. Uh, and then within this area of fishing niche and a sub area of kayak fishing we now want to make a video that you know provides top tips for beginners in kayak fishing so the moment we now make a video up and put it on youtube anyone that goes to youtube and types kayak fishing related we're definitely going to be getting our videos to rank Right. And even if they are searching from Google, even if they are doing a raw Google search, say kayak fishing, right? Most likely, even if we don't get ranked on, I mean, of course, not over exaggerating here, I beg your pardon. Um, but depending on your SEO search engine, search engine optimization strategy, your video would most likely want to rank on the first page of Google or the second page, right? And then you can even take it a step further. You can see this channel talking about kayak fishing. Because we search for kayak fishing directly, you look at this channel, 140,000. And we could just go ahead and open this video on a brand new tab and you see for yourself. So, guys, the point we are now as content creators, the game is changing. Okay, there is com more competition than ever before. And we want to be able, as much as we can, to get into the heads of our viewers and our potential viewers, existing subscribers, and more to come. And the one way to do that is to know what people are searching for, do a proper quality topic research. And when you know, you could confirm all of the process we've run through here in this video. And um, now we have a headway. Okay. So before we put in the time, the money, the equipment, the resources, the scripting, the editing, for those of you who have paid editors or paid cin cinematographers, before you put all of that in play, you want to be sure of the topic because once you invest all of that time you can't take it back and if you don't get quality response views exposures for that video the truth be told it's hurting okay it's painful having put in all that time and energy on ground and you're unable to get exposure to your video it's painful so again i don't want to make this video excessively too long thank you guys for watching please if this video has solved this problem of topic research for you, all I'm asking in return is that please subscribe, turn on the bell notifications and share this video to someone who is having the same problem as well. Let them fix their problems for themselves. I found this video that taught me how to do this. I have done it myself and I'm still doing it. As a matter of fact, it has now become part of my strategies on my systems to making videos on the internet, on YouTube. And lastly, Watch this video if you want to know the five fundamental things to get started making content on YouTube in 2024. And I'll see you in the next one.